Hey guys, somebody had asked me uh, about the way that I have my uh, chart versus time stacked on the uh, scanner like this. Um, so I figured uh, I would just make a short video showing you how to do that. Um, there are several advantages to doing this, um, and we can I'll get to that later in the vi uh, video. To get started, the first thing you want to do is go up here to Layout, go to Add Layout, Chart versus Time, and it will, by default, it'll come up in this window. What you do is you grab this, click and drag this blue title right here down to your center box right there, and you let it go. Once this whole thing is highlighted blue, you let it go. It will bring the channel that, or the, not the channel, sorry, the uh, chart versus time that you just added to the front. And if you keep doing that, it'll uh, stack these chart versus time, uh, just as you see here. And once you have them stacked, you can kind of make them uh, for specific things that you're looking at. You know, for example, you could make one to monitor your fuel pressures. Um, you could make one to monitor your uh, torque management, your torque model. Um, and then once you make each of these uh, chart versus time, I usually save each individual chart so I can have it for later. Uh, and then, you know, I'll also save the layout uh, when doing this for the first time, or if you make changes to an individual chart. Uh, speaking of that, uh, let me show you how to make some minor changes so that your tables, your, sorry, your labels don't stack on top of each other to where you're trying to read something and your, it looks like hieroglyphics. So let's say that, uh, you know, you don't like not being able to see the full word or you know, this uh, channel is mixed in with this channel. What you can do, you would right click, go to chart layout for whichever one you want to do. And for this one, we'll just, um, we'll adjust this area right here. So you go to your charts layout. We'll move this over here so we can kind of see what we're doing in this uh, box right here. Um, so we're looking at engine torque, max torque, peak torque. Um, so what you want to do is you click on that group. You're going to add a bunch of new series. And what that will do is give you room to move those channels to a different area to take them away from this bar so that you can actually read them or it'll make it to where you can move it so that they're not on top of each other. Then you'll go through with all these new series and you'll delete all of these so that they're blank because we don't care about the new series. We just want the space in the box so that we can move our data to places that we can read it. Okay, so I went ahead and went through all of the new series that I just added. Just go up here to where it says label, highlight it, delete it. So then what we can do is we can move these individual series either up or down to a position that we can better read them, um, you know, so they're not stacked on top of each other. So we'll do engine torque just to show you where you put that in your list. And see right there is a good example. You see how that's overlaid on top of each other. There's no way in heck that you'd be able to read that. Um, but you just move it until it's in a spot where you can see it and it's not convoluted by another uh, series point. And the same thing, you can do that with all of them. Just kind of move them you know, where you want them to where they're not. Uh, on top of each other. 
I'm going to do that with this Max Torque one as well. And you can see that that moved our peak torque, so we would just go back to that. And you can put that back where you had it, either by the up or down arrow. And now all of our series, you can read each and every one of them. They're not on top of each other. They're not missing over here because they're slammed up against the border. And you can do that with each individual box. Uh, and then, you know, just once you make your changes and when, where you get it to where you like it, uh, you just might want to make sure that you uh, save it and select all groups and that will maintain your entire chart versus time as you have it set up and that's going to be it for this video i hope you uh, can use this information i hope it helps and uh, we'll see you on the next one